The world mourned the death of Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter Gianna Gigi Bryant, who perished in a helicopter crash in January 2020, along with seven others. The investigation into the crash's cause has cast a spotlight on Kobe's long history of flying in helicopters, a practice he picked up to expedite commutes between his home in Newport Beach and Lakers practices in Los Angeles. One benefit? He got to spend more time with his four daughters. I had to figure out a way where I could still train and focus on the craft, but still not compromise family time. Mm. Given the amount of time Kobe would spend in helicopters, it turned out that he reportedly needed to make a deal with his wife, Vanessa Bryant, who he married in 2001, regarding flying in choppers. A source explained to People magazine, he and Vanessa had a deal that they would never fly on a helicopter together. The insider also noted how Kobe would only fly with the late pilot Ara Zobayan, who was operating the chopper when it crashed. According to the Washington Post, Zobayan had over 8,000 hours of flight time and had flown various celebrities, including Kylie Jenner. All of this information seems to imply Kobe and Vanessa took precautions to fly safely, all the way from supposedly flying separately to choosing an experienced pilot to charter their flights. Not only did Kobe and Vanessa reportedly have a deal about flying, but the NBA star was also seemingly conscientious about the type of helicopter he chartered for his family. Aviation analyst Miles O'Brien told CNN that the athlete's helicopter, a Sikorsky S-76B, was, in his words, a workhorse. He added, It's the flying Lincoln Town Car for executives. This is what corporate helicopter aviation is built on, on this Sikorsky. It's twin engine, it's reliable, it's safe, it's capable. Additionally, Kobe's former pilot told Entertainment Tonight that it's unlikely that this particular helicopter had some type of major mechanical failure. For something catastrophic to happen, I mean, it would be really rare. That's a really, really reliable aircraft. Speaking of reliability, helicopter crashes are becoming more rare, according to MarketWatch's analysis of data from the National Transportation Safety Board. The outlet explained, Over the past few decades, the number of accidents involving helicopters has fallen. Last year saw the second lowest number of helicopter accidents over the past 30 years, with just 125 incidents. In 1990, there were 228 helicopter accidents in the U.S. As for the finer details about Kobe's chopper, which he leased from Island Express Helicopters whenever he wanted, it was reportedly built in 1991 and had previously belonged to the state of Illinois, being used for VIP transport from 2007 to 2015, according to CNN. As Kobe and Vanessa's deal implies, the two were a team first and foremost. In the wake of the tragedy, she's trying her best to be a source of support for the couple's surviving children. A source told People, It's an extremely difficult and devastating time for Vanessa and the whole family. She can hardly keep it together. She can't finish a sentence without crying. But she is working very hard to pull it together for the other girls. She now has to be the strong one. Kobe was, without a doubt, a devoted family man. Baseball legend Derek Jeter touched on this in an essay for the Players' Tribune, writing, I end up thinking about how here was this guy who was beyond gifted as an athlete, who was obsessed with being a champion, who was known as an absolute assassin with a ball in his hands. And in the moments I got to spend with him, he didn't really talk about any of that. He cared much more about being a husband to Vanessa and a dad to his girls. He loved his family. He was his family.